Okay, uh, these problems will give us some practice with electronic configuration. Um, here it's asking how many electrons are present in each of the following atoms. Assuming that each is a neutral atom, identify the element. Okay, so two questions. Um, how many electrons and what is the element? So here's the electron configuration. What this is saying is in the 1s subshell, there are two electrons, two electrons in the 2s, six electrons in 2p, two electrons in 3s, and one electron in the 3p. So you just count these up, um, 2, 4, and 10, 12, 13, total of 13 electrons um, in that atom. And if you look on the periodic table, you find that that is um, aluminum. Okay, here uh, again we just add them up. It's just saying, uh, remember this is N and L. So this is the level and then that's the wing of the, uh, of the, uh, where the electrons are residing. Okay, that's the, the subshell. Um, and then this is just specifying the, the level that that subshell is on, or the energy level. Uh, the, the, the shell and the subshell, okay? Two electrons in that subshell, two electrons in that subshell, six electrons, okay? So that's the whole wing. There's six electrons there, two, six, two, and one, okay? So again, two, four, 10, 12, uh, 18, 20, 21, and if we look at the periodic table for 21, we find that that is the element scandium, Sc. And finally here we have uh, 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, all right? So um, you'll notice the d orbital takes uh, 10 electrons. Uh, to fill it up because it has those five rooms in there as you recall. So anyway, element 36 is Krypton. Okay, now here it says how many uh, electrons are permitted A in a D orbital and B in a D subshell. Okay, so the orbitals, uh, those are the individual rooms if you will. So there's only two electrons in the in each orbital but in the d subshell uh, d is when l equals two so there's the zero door at the end of the hall and then there's two sets of doors there's a total of five doors in the d wing of the atomic hotel and um, and therefore there are a total of 10 electrons that may be put in, uh, in those, uh, in that subshell, okay? Two electrons in each d orbital. Okay, now here it says, write detailed electronic configurations for lithium, carbon, and magnesium, okay? So uh, lithium is uh, element number three, so it has three electrons, so we start out with 1s, n equals 1, l equals 0. Remember, we, we, we go in order of increasing n plus l from lowest energy to highest energy. And uh, n plus l determines the energy. So 1 plus l equals 0 is the s um, subshell. And so here, uh, this is our lowest energy, and we have two electrons there and that fills, uh, fills that one up. So you can look at this um, back to this uh, analogy. Those are the, uh, the two 1s electrons, right? N equals one, L equals zero, that's the S, one, S, two, okay? And then we go on to the next level. 2, and we start with S, so 2S 
and then we start filling there, okay? Um, and for lithium, that is, uh, since it only has three electrons, it'll be 2s1, all right? Next is uh, carbon. Carbon has six electrons, so it starts out in the same place, 1s2, and then 2s2, uh, 2s2, and then 2p246, okay? That's the total that can fit there, but you'll notice we've already placed two there, so uh, we only have two more electrons that need to go in this wing, okay? Now, uh, just as a side note, those electrons, they don't pair up immediately. First, they start filling one here, and then it's like they go and check, oh, that room is occupied, I'll go to the next room. They find it vacant, then the electron goes there, all right? Then the third electron that goes into the P uh, orbital, or the P subshell, checks here, oh, that one's occupied, checks there, oh, that's occupied, checks here, uh, it's vacant, then it will go here. And it's only when we have one electron in each of those um, orbitals, okay, that the next electron will pair up, all right? So that's, um, uh, that's the, the rule there. Um, it's, uh, it, it, they are unpaired until, uh, until each room has one electron and then they begin to pair up. All right, so that's just a little side note. It's not relevant to this question. Here we have two more electrons that need to be placed in, uh, in this P orbital, uh, P subshell rather. And so they're gonna go in, uh, into two of those uh, P orbitals, but there's just two electrons. And it, here we, uh, we, don't, um, we don't designate the specific orbital that they go in, okay? So two, four, six, that gives us our six electrons. All right, now magnesium has 12 electrons. So it starts out 1s2, 2s2, 2p. Now this time we're here and it has enough electrons to fill the whole orbital. So that's gonna be 2p6. So two, four, and 10, we have two more electrons, but we've filled this entire shell. So we have to go up to level three, N equals three. That'll be the three S two, okay? So that's where that goes. Note, it pairs up because there's only one door on that wing. It's when there's multiple doors that it has the opportunity to remain unpaired, okay? So the next after this is 3P2. Now, you'll notice if you have a periodic table that um, shows the electron configuration on it, um, it's uh, fairly typical to omit the N that is the same uh, as one previous to it. So you might see this written and as 1S2, 2s2 and then instead of showing that 2 because it's already specified there they just put 2s2 p6 and then 3 p2 all right so that um you should recognize that that's the same uh, same thing there and uh, another side note sometimes the the order uh, will be slightly different um i don't know why i wrote a p here that is the S, that would be 3s2. Okay, so um, sometimes the order will also be slightly different. They may put the S before the P or uh, whatever the case may be. Okay.